Hello everyone, it's Katie, your CSA coach with Shared Legacy Farms. Today we're popping in and doing a quick little tutorial about potatoes. We're not going to cook anything fancy today, we're just going to talk about the differences because not all potatoes are actually created equal. I know it brings up some confusion in our CSA group. So make sure you check the comments below for our potato ebook that will include all the information that we're going to talk about today. So Differences in potatoes, um, for the most part, you've got boiling potatoes, you've got baking potatoes, and then you've got all-purpose potatoes. So red potatoes or new potatoes are an example of a boiling potato. They tend to have a lower starch content when you're comparing them to something like a baking potato. And they're really what you want to use for um, soups or uh, gratins or stews. They tend not to get as mushy and they hold up with their texture a lot better. Um, so when you go to cut into something like a boiling potato, like a red potato, you'll notice that the starch content's a little bit lower, that the knife usually comes out a lot cleaner. And I know that you can't probably see that that well, um, but you can try it yourselves at home. So red potatoes, new potatoes, um, a little bit waxier in texture, hold their structure pretty well, soups, stews, all gratins. And then you've got these big guys, which are your baking potatoes. Uh, baking potatoes have a higher starch content and because of that they're going to be a little bit fluffier when you bake them. So these actually aren't going to hold up that well in like a soup or a stew or an au gratin. They're going to fall apart pretty easily. Uh, so these we want to use more for baking, whether we're baking them in the oven or microwaving them or even for like mashed potatoes. And these the starch content's a lot higher and you can usually see like on your knife when you cut them that it doesn't come out as clean, um, and that's the starches. So um, baking potatoes, we wanna try to use just for that for baking, or we can mash them up to make mashed potatoes. So Share Legacy Farms grows red potatoes and I think new potatoes. I know they grow red potatoes for boiling. They don't grow baking potatoes. They do grow a lot of what we would call all-purpose potatoes. And those are like our gold potatoes, that have like a creamier, um, more like buttery like texture, and also our blue potatoes that we get. So all-purpose potatoes kind of fall in between our boiling and our baking. Um, you can roast them, you can bake them, you can throw them in soups or stews. So I tend to like an all-purpose potato, although I guess it kind of depends on the person. Um, these blue potatoes are actually super cool. They are organic, and I'm going to cut into one here. They are my favorite potatoes that we get. And these are like an all-purpose potato. So these are great as fried potatoes or in soups, pretty much whatever you want. So it doesn't matter what type of potato, you always want to store them in a cool, dry, dark place. Um, so not in the refrigerator. They're going to go bad faster in the refrigerator. So cool, dry, dark place. If they're wet when you get them, you want to let them dry out before you put them wherever you're going to store them. Um, if they're exposed to too much light, they're going to end up turning green. If you store them too close to onions, little spuds are going to start to form a little bit faster. So they need to be in a dark place away from light and not near any onions. Uh, if for some reason you have tomatoes near them, that's also not going to be a good thing. It also might cause them to have some spuds or some buds a little bit faster. Um, so when you go to use them, really easy. Obviously you just want to wash them off. Peeling is basically a preference. For the most part, if I'm frying a potato um, or baking it, I'm going to leave the skin on. The only time I tend to peel my potatoes is if I put them in a soup. Um, I will always peel a potato if they are not organic. So potatoes are one of the items that are on the dirty dozen list, which means they are the dirtiest items or of the 12 dirtiest items when grown conventionally. So they tend to hold on to a lot of pesticide or chemical residue. So if for some reason I have non-organic potatoes, I am always going to peel them. Um, if you are getting your potatoes from a good local organic source like Shared Legacy Farms, I would definitely leave the skins on. A little bit of dirt in there is actually going to be good for your gut and your overall health. So just wash them off gently, leave the peel on if you don't mind that. Um, you want to make sure that you get rid of any little buds or any little green spots. And then you can go ahead and cook them however you want. So you can always roast them or bake them in the oven. You do want to make sure that you poke a few holes in them first before you do that. You can also use your microwave. You can also fry them, boil them, 
if you want to freeze them, you do need to cook potatoes prior to freezing. And you would just boil them in a little bit of water and then let them dry out a little bit on a paper towel before freezing them in a Ziploc bag. So potatoes can be frozen if you notice they're starting to go bad. So that is a quick little tutorial about the differences of potatoes. You've got your boiling potatoes, like your red potatoes, your baking potatoes, and then all those guys in between, like your blue ones here or your gold potatoes. Uh, feel free to post your questions or comments below. Um, thank you for watching. This is Katie, your CSA coach with Shared Legacy Farms.